A surprise warning about one of the most traditional products in every kitchen, rice. The scientists at Consumer Reports are sounding an alarm tonight after finding what they call, quote, significant and, quote, worrisome levels of arsenic in a wide range of brown rice, white rice, and products from baby food to breakfast cereal. ABC senior national correspondent Jim Avila has those details. Arletha Idrissa has two girls, and like many moms, a pantry filled with rice products. Long grain rice, jasmine rice, um, basmati rice. But now Consumer Reports is urging Arletha and anyone who eats rice, especially children under age five, to cut back because rice is the number one food source of arsenic in humans. Some products containing, the magazine says, five times more arsenic than oatmeal. You really shouldn't exceed more than one serving a day of an infant rice cereal. Consumer Reports tested 200 rice products, everything from cereals to drinks, finding arsenic in all, many containing what the magazine calls worrisome levels. The FDA is conducting an even larger study. So far, our results are fairly similar. Arsenic appears naturally in the soil and water, but decades of arsenic-based fertilizer and pesticides used on other crops have added more toxins. And rice, because it's grown in water-soaked patties, absorbs more arsenic than other grains. Surprisingly, the healthier brown rice contains more arsenic because the white rice is polished, removing the outer layers where any arsenic is more likely to be found. The Rice Federation says the word arsenic is more frightening than reality, and there's no direct scientific link between rice and ill health. These levels are not high enough to cause any human health uh, problems. The FDA stopped short of setting arsenic limits today, saying there's no immediate danger, but reminding parents a varied diet is best. There are lots of other grains that can be introduced into the diet. It doesn't have to be rice cereal. As for Arletha, she says she'll check with her doctor before feeding her daughters any more rice. Jim Avila, ABC News, Washington. And now I want to bring in ABC's chief medical editor, Dr. Richard Besser. Rich, rice? Rice? How worried are you? Well, you know, you hear the word arsenic. It's, it's worrisome. The, the key question that hasn't been answered yet is how risky is it to your health? And we're really not going to know that until the FDA study is, is done next year. We're exposed to arsenic through the air, through the water, through the soil, through the food that we eat. And the key question is, is this level risky? Well, what do you do to minimize the risk if nobody knows for sure right now what it means long term? Well, I don't think you give up rice. You know, rice, particularly brown rice, is a great source of nutrition. But when you're eating rice, do some things to reduce the amount of arsenic you're taking in. So when you're cooking rice, wash the rice before you cook it. Wash it in a colander until the water runs clear. Then cook the rice with extra water six times the water, the amount of water as you have rice in there. If you do those two things, Consumer Reports says that will reduce by 30% the amount of arsenic you take in. But the, the most important thing is a varied diet will, will ensure you don't take in any contaminant at a dangerous level.